It's Jenna and Andy here from A Couple Travelers. We're back today with an awesome new video for you guys. It's a full walkthrough tour of Sandals Barbados and Sandals Royal Barbados from our vacation last year. If you want to see a room from Sandals Barbados, last week we posted a tour of the Caribbean Deluxe room and I will link that for you below to be sure to check that out. And let's go to the beach. Cool. Starting off our tour here on the Sandals Barbados side, we are looking at the main beach in front of that part of the resort. And as we start to loop back around here, we're looking at the main building of the Sandals Barbados side, as well as the pool area, uh, which had a really nice vibe and atmosphere to it. And we, uh, we actually started off on a vacation over here. Yes, and this main building over here on the left is the Schooner Seafood Grill. It is one of 18 restaurants here at Sandals Barbados and Royal Barbados. And that is one of the restaurants that's only open for dinner. Coming up here are two grab and go style restaurants where you can get a, a quick bite to eat. This is actually where we had our first meal at the resort. It was um, a nice kind of burger and pizza that we had for lunch. It was a nice way to start the vacation. Yes, so this is um, Dino's Pizzeria Italiano and um, the Mariner. And one is definitely more the wood grilled pizza. The other is more burgers and fries, but it's a great option if you're by the pool to just grab something, bring it back to your chair, or if you want to sit down and have some um, you know, someone come over and take care of you, you could do that as well. Yeah. And what we're actually walking past right now is the, all the aqu aqua sports and everything you would do in the ocean. That's where you could get it, um, over here in front of the beach. Yes. And the great thing about sandals is once you're there, everything's included. So if you want to go kayaking, if you want to paddle board, if you want to learn how to use the hobby cats, which is basically like a type of sailboat, all of that is included and they have um, instructors who will help you and make sure you're all set, you have your life vest, everything that you need. Yeah. So really cool, all-inclusive uh, perk that you have there. And as we kind of continue to walk along the beach, we actually want to call out that we're passing over into what is technically a, another resort. So there's actually two resorts on Barbados at Sandals Barbados where we started. Now we're crossing over to Sandals Royal Barbados and there's really no clear transition. You're really just walking between the two resorts, but on paper, they are two separate properties, two separate business entities. But when you're there as a guest, it feels like one massive resort. It's really cool. Mm -hmm. And they are, um, both resorts are the two newest resorts to Sandals. So Barbados came first and then a couple years later, Sandals Royal Barbados came out. And this infinity pool that you see here on the left is definitely the more lively, lively pool. We spent a lot of our time here. They had a DJ playing. We met a lot of people here. We just kind of hung out there and day. It was a really cool vibe. Yep. And just one thing to note about the pools and the beach all around the Sandals property, um, all of the chairs are first come first serve and a good tip that we have is just when you're heading out to breakfast in the morning, grab some towels, put it down to reserve a chair. Um, Sandals does have a rule that if they see a towel on a chair and no one has shown up for an hour that they would potentially remove it. But we never really saw anybody like yeah, actually do that. It's an unwritten rule. Yeah, I think they, they just reserve that right if it's super crowded and people can't find spots. But um, we haven't really had a problem with that. And um, if you are in a butler room category, you could um, have your butler go out first thing in the morning and reserve your spot on the beach or your spot by the pool. Um, you, you're given a little cell phone and you can call them, let them know where you want to be that day and they will go and reserve that for you. Yeah, we, we met a couple people who had butlers and everybody just rants and raves about them. It's a really, really nice perk mm -hmm. if you're willing to spend a little bit extra to have that kind of really handhold white glove service on your vacation. Right. And continuing our walk here past the infinity pool at Sandals Royal Barbados, we're coming up to Neptunes. It's one of their seaside locations. It's a really nice place to um, have a meal if you really literally want to be sitting as close to the beach as possible. <laughs> yes, and we did have lunch there, um, I believe twice, and they are also open for dinner and it's mainly a Mediterranean cuisine. We didn't have a chance to eat there for dinner, but lunch was great and you really cannot beat that view. Yeah, especially if you're looking for a lighter fare for lunch, similar to what we saw at Dino's and Mariner's. It's it's pizza, sandwiches, burgers, mm -hmm. it's, it's that kind of stuff. Yeah, their signature dish was a um, grilled fish sandwich and 
and it was really good. You yeah, could tell you it was that. so fresh. I got it both times we went. <laughs> yeah. Um, and one of the coolest things that we saw here in property on the right are the swim up rooms that they have. And I don't know the specific room category, but it's definitely one of the coolest rooms you can get on property. Yes. I mean, that's definitely on our bucket list to one day do this, but, um, I have had some clients stay on, um, one of the balcony suites and have, um, you know, those, those tubs are on all of the the balconies and you I mean you really just can't beat that yeah I mean just think about walking out of your room in the morning and like instead of going in the shower you just go in your own <laughs> pool like it, it, it's wild yeah, it really is wild it's crazy um, so walking here we're actually on the back side of the infinity pool walking past what's a little bit of a recreation area at Sandals Barbados so you could kind of see they have some shuffleboard here they have some uh, larger size chess pieces um, so there's really no shortage of things to do if you're there you know with your significant other or you're there with another couple there's all these little pickup games and things that you can do. There's really no shortage of activities. Yep. And the building that we're actually heading towards right now is the Royal Seaside Village building. It, it's pretty much the main building that separates Sandals Barbados from Sandals Royal Barbados. And as we walk past you, you can see some more of those awesome uh, swim up rooms. But we're actually going to head into the elevator here in a little bit and take it all the way up to the top floor where there's another pool as well as uh, a nice restaurant. It's definitely one of the coolest, definitely the highest vantage point you could get across the property. Yeah, you'll see once we get up there, you really cannot beat that view. And they have um, one of the most popular restaurants um, on property and um, a great bar with great views. Same thing with the pool. Yeah. Well, one of the funny things about the elevators here, this is one of the few elevators on property, but they had uh, nice photos of other Sandals properties in there. So when you're kind of standing with nothing else to do in the elevator, you're like, oh, I should book my next trip to like St. Lucia or somewhere. <laughs> Too funny. It's a real, real funny sales tactic on their part, but it's, it's, it's impressive to see all the locations that they have for sure. And coming out of the elevator here, as we uh, loop, loop around and see the view on the right and come to the left, uh, we're going to pass La Parisienne, French cuisine, which is uh, one of the fancier restaurants on property. Yes, yeah, so this is an a la carte restaurant for breakfast and then is a little bit fancier for dinner. Um, this is one of the restaurants that require reservations and requires um, resort evening attire, just meaning um, gentlemen shouldn't be in shorts, they should be in dress pants or jeans, no flip flops, no hats, that sort of thing. And then right next to it is the Sky Bar which um, is super lively at night. I mean, I remember um, the crowd up there was just really great and you cannot beat that view. Yeah, there's definitely a, a different vibe for the, for the resort from day to night. And that was definitely one of the nice nightlife spots to be. And the th uh, third, but the, la or the last but not least uh, feature here on the top deck is this awesome, awesome pool. So um, this is actually probably the most crowded we saw it when we were on when we were, mm -hmm. when we stayed there but you really can't beat the views it's, it's a really awesome concept right and this is the very first roof deck pool at a sandals resort um, I'm hoping that any new resorts that open from here also have them because it I mean it was just awesome to be in the pool and have that view um, you really haven't been able to get that experience at a different sandals before yeah so obviously you know being up top here there's no shortage of photo opportunities or, or Instagram selfies yep. <laughs> or anything you need to take. It's really um, just a nice vantage point to get, you know, an overarching view of the entire property as we look back down here um, onto the awesome infinity pool. It kind of gives you the lay of the land. Um, and that pool was actually, um, they had a decent amount of activities there between the DJ and some stuff. And, and you actually had a fun thing go on <laughs> one of the mornings there, right? Yes. So. Um, Pretty much every day around like 10 or 11 a.m. they would do an hour of water aerobics. And I really was trying to just have a vacation where I was relaxed and having a good time. And there was um, an instructor who just would not take no for an answer. It had um, us in this group we were with join in on the water activities. And the aerobics were tough. The, the, the girls joined in on <laughs> yes, the water yes, activities. The, the guys, guys did not. <laughs> the guys did not. But um, we did join in and it actually was fun and then I felt great after, but I just couldn't believe how hard it was. <laughs> Especially after a couple of pina coladas in the morning. Exactly. So um, it, it, it's just nice to walk around property and see those little pop-up activities. Like there's always 
like we started off the tour, you saw the little pickup volleyball game, and you'll actually get a, um, th they have resort guides that basically outline all the activities mm -hmm. for you um, the, the day before. So you can kind of go into your next day of your stay and kind of start to map out uh, all the different activities you want to hit, right. similar to if you were on a cruise. Yeah, there, there's so many activities and there's something for everybody. I mean, if you want to get up at, you know, at sunrise and do yoga, that's a thing. You can, you can get up early on your vacation and do some activities. But um, uh, also noteworthy, um, sandals. If you are a certified scuba diver, you can scuba dive as much as you want for free, completely free of charge. Um, if you're not certified and you still want to scuba dive, Sandals does offer a, um, a certification so that throughout the rest of your stay, you can participate in the scuba diving. Um, it's just a small fee, but. Yeah, and that's, uh, you would take advantage of that over at the water sports shack that we saw um, on the beach. That's where you'll pick up your hobby catch, your windsurfing. Mm -hmm. um, it was, we, we've tried a lot of different kind of water we've sports. We've done it all. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, not not always successfully, but it's it's fun nonetheless. Yes. Um, and continuing on here on the Royal Barbados side, just you can see a couple different pavilions and meeting spaces for a lot of pop up entertainment. Uh, again, speaking to the different variety of, of things you could experience here at the resort, you're never not going to be entertained. There's always something going on. And um, what we're actually heading towards right now as we walk down this uh, path is towards um, something that's very new to any Sandals property. It's the first bowling alley out of Sandals and we had a lot of fun here. And like I said, Lover's Lane is a new concept for any of the Barbados properties and they have a really nice seating area on the outside here where there's a lot of games and we were actually there during the NFL playoffs. So there was a big Massachusetts, New England contingent watching mm -hmm. some Patriot games and a really nice venue as you can see inside here. Yes, and so one night after dinner, we met up with some people that we had um, met at the pool that day, and we put a group of six to put our name into bowl. Um, it's good to know that this area can definitely get a little bit crowded at night because it's one of the fun activities to do. Um, so just expect that you may have to wait a little bit, but they had some awesome live music inside. And also in Lover's Lane, they had the craft beer bar with a ton of different beers on tap. And they also, that white strip there is um, a special thing that they designed to keep your beer cold for a very long time, which is great when you're sitting there waiting um, for your turn to bowl. Yeah, and so it's a new venue for sandals, but they're bringing some you know bar innovation with it too. So it's pretty cool. Um, so a really nice spot that we highly recommend. And as we kind of exit Lover's Lane here, there's just, again, no shortage of different activities between billiards and ping pong. Again, always, always something to do. Yep. And then coming up here on the right, you have the Jerk Shack. And this is another great spot to grab some lunch when you're just, you know, hanging out by the pool. Um, you can get it to go or sit at one of these um, picnic tables, but it's um, a Caribbean fair. They have, you know, jerk chicken, jerk pork. Um, a fish foil, and even there I tried um, one of their local sweet potatoes, which fun fact is their sweet potato is not orange, it's white there. Um, it pretty much tastes the same, but it was kind of funky, you know, giving something new a try. Yeah, uh, so definitely recommend the authentic Caribbean cuisine, and it's mm -hmm. right across from the other main pool, I guess, on the Sandals Royal Barbados side. It's definitely more of a chill vibe here, mm -hmm. as you can kind of see. And this is also later in the afternoon. It's probably about 4.30, 4.45. So there's a there's a weird middle uh, kind of ground on the Sandals day between when the, the crowd goes back to their room to nap and everything for and to get ready for nightlife. So you could kind of see that um, reflected here by the, the size of the crowd hanging at the pool. So if you want to sit by the pool and kind of read a book and relax and have kind of a quieter atmosphere, this is definitely the pool at Royal Barbados to hang out at first. The Infinity Pool, which had the live music and was a little bit, not rowdy, but more, you know, lively. Lively, yeah. yeah. So if you're looking again for music and just, a, I don't want to say younger crowd, but it, it you'll kind of notice the different areas and different mm -hmm. vibes once you get on property. Right. And what we're heading towards right now is the main lobby and check-in area for Sandals Royal Barbados. Um, it's 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 always it was an interesting concept when the first time we went to a Sandals that a lot of these lobbies are are outdoors. Mm -hmm. There's no like you're, you're really like in the the Caribbean 
vibe, you know, it, it makes for a really cool concept. Right. And then over here on the right is the Island Roots desk. This is where you'll book your excursions if you want to leave the Sandals property for a little bit and go explore some of the island. Um, that is definitely something I could book for you as a travel agent, and I definitely recommend booking some of the more popular excursions in advance. We've never had a advanced excursion when staying mm -hmm. in the Sandals. They, they have always been the thing that, one of the things that we talk about the most after our trips is the different excursions that we did. Yeah, and as we turn around to look at the, you know, as you would walk into the lobby from uh, taking, you know, from the, the driveway is on the right is Club Sandals, and uh, that's a lounge area that's exclusive to club level members who stay at Sandals. Exactly. So when you book your stay at Sandals, your room will be in one of three categories, luxury level, club level, and butler level. So if you are club and above, you can have access to that lounge where they, you know, have some cookies and some snacks. They have a concierge in there who can help you book things. So just, you know, an extra level of service. Yeah. And leaving the lobby, want to, um, point out the kind of art deco vibe that the Royal Barbados side had. Uh, you could see these like aqua chairs here and they had those pink couches on the top of the building by the infinity pool. So if you're looking for, uh, to get those ubiquitous in Instagram shots when you're on vacation, mm -hmm. you, you kind of, you're, you're in the right spot for it. Exactly. And um, as we're kind of walking around here, you'll notice these tiny little, not tiny, but as we're walking around here, you'll notice these kind of individual buildings. These are called um, rendezvous. And these are the most exclusive rooms on property. This is kind of, you know, if you're on a special trip with your significant other and you kind of want to be in your own little bubble, this is kind of what you want to book. It has um, butler service. You have, you know, the room is immaculate. You have your own plunge pool. You can have your meals delivered to you. It's the perfect, you know, honeymoon or big anniversary trip um, where you just want you know, your quality alone time with your spouse. Yeah, for sure. And so if you're definitely looking to book one of those for a special occasion, a lot of couples take advantage of that extra level of privacy. But um, it, it's funny, we like, we never saw people coming out of, of those, those yeah. rendezvous, but we we were sure like the, the sandals was always at a pretty high capacity. Yeah, so I think, um, I mean, those definitely are on the pricier end of things. So if you're gonna pay for it, you know, they that's where they stay. They're not going to leave and go to a different pool. Right. They have their own pool in their backyard. So they're going to really take advantage and be there. Yeah. And even if you wanted to go to one of the main pools, you see you're, you're just mere steps away from it as we kind of see the, the swim up bar and the back end of the um, the other pool here on Sandals World, Royal Barbados. And coming up to one of our favorite restaurants on property, uh, Butch's Steak and Seafood. Yes. So actually, um, there are two butches on Sandals Barbados and Royal Barbados property. This one on the Royal Barbados side is Butch's Steak and Seafood. On the Barbados side is just Butch's Steakhouse. Um, and it's actually named after the founder and chairman of Sandals. Um, Gordon Butch Stewart. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a nice little namesake for the, the founder and the current chairman of Sandals. Um, and... And this restaurant is another one where reservations are required. This restaurant is very popular, so make those reservations on your first day. And it's also a restaurant that requires the um, resort evening attire. And it's good to know that all of these restaurants, all the 18 restaurants on property are all included in the price of the vacation. So it's not like a cruise where if you dine at one, there's an upcharge, everything is included. And right next to Butch's Steak and Seafood is Chi Asian Fusion. This is another restaurant that requires reservation, but it is resort casual attire. So you can go in shorts and flip flops and enjoy your meal. But the food was actually really good. We, I loved it. We had I, mean, an amazing I love Chinese meal. food. Yeah. Um, so it, it was really good. I highly recommend it. We actually sat outside right here on this little patio that's surrounded by a koi pond. It was a really nice <laughs> yeah. vibe at night. Um, and Coming up to what was probably m one of my favorite restaurants on property, a new concept to Sandals as well. You know, you th they're doing all these new things at Royal Barbados. It's American Tavern, which is just as it sounds. It's American 
um, fair in a more tavern gastropublic setting. Right. And this was open for all three meals. So breakfast and lunch was a buffet and then dinner was an a la carte. And I believe, um, you know, it's typical kind of pub food. So for dinner on the night we went, we just got a, like a bunch of different appetizers to share. Um, and they all were really good. Um, and the decor is super fun inside. Um, yeah, definitely one of our one of our go-tos. Yeah, and that's one of the nice things about um, you know Sandals is, is that you could go there and you could get any different style cuisine that you like. There's Italian, there's French, there's you know uh, now American. So you're you're there's no shortage of cuisine when you're on vacation. Yep. And this is one of the main performance areas at Sandals Royal Barbados. Um, lots of live music, they'd have different bands up there, and um, they had plenty of seating in front for you to grab a drink, listen to the music, and just kind of enjoy the night. Yeah, and obviously not very lively right now, but again, this is that weird middle area of the day <laughs> where people are, are getting ready for the evening. And passing the Beach House Resort Shop here on the right, this is your main, one of your main kind of gift shop sundries areas on property where you need to get your sandals t-shirt or your sunscreen or a uh, souvenir bottle of liquor to bring back home. Uh, you could all get it at, at one of those shops. And uh, it's basically kind of leading us into what the main kind of like village retail mm -hmm. area of the property is. Yeah, this is where you're gonna find um, the butler lounge if you have the butler access. This is where you're going to find the donut shop, which we love. The donut shop. <laughs> yes, a donut shop. Um, this is also one of the spas. This is the spa on the Royal Barbados side. Um, there's also a diamond store. So lots going on over here. Yeah, so it, it, so a lot of this is on this little kind of alleyway here. So the, the sweet and salty um, donut shop is here on the right. And then the Red Lane Spa is kind of, you know, bookending the um, path here at the end. And um, you know, that's where you can go for all of your great spa treatments and uh, mm -hmm. Jenna's has some good uh, spa treatments at Sandals. Yes, and I went to the spa um, on this trip on the Barbados side, um, but I had this Caribbean seaweed wrap and it was amazing. My skin was so soft after. Jenna loves the spa. I am admittedly not a huge spa fan, but I'm glad she has the opportunity yeah. to kind of do that on vacation. Yeah, we did a couple's massage on our honeymoon at Sandals Grand Antigua, and he absolutely hated it. He just, <laughs> we left the spa and he was like, I just wanted to say, you already rubbed that spa. And I was like, that's the point. <laughs> I, I was leaving more stressed than when I entered. And yes. that, that's not how a spa should set you up. Yeah. but. And as we leave the retail area here um, at the Barbados properties, uh, we want to point out one of the photo studios that they had. And it's a really nice perk of staying at any Sandals resort is you have these um, really endless photo opportunities. It's a really nice perk to be a guest there. Yes, so they have um, a large staff of photographers who are wandering the resort during the day. They will actually get into the pool, into the ocean to try to capture those photos for you. But then you can also book um, a private session with them. So we, on both of our sandals trips, have signed up for um, some sunset photos on the beach. And we, um, at the end of our trip, would just go to the photo studio, look at all the photos from the trip, and pick out the ones that we need to have. And as we walk here on the Barbados side, um, pointing out one of the, I guess you could call it a, a pavilion, but they were, as I was taking this video, they were actually setting up for a wedding reception, which is sandals, which is something that sandals does. They, they have a lot of weddings on property sometimes. So a mm -hmm. uh, nice little kind of little pop-up thing you'll see um, on mm -hmm. one of your property. To the left of the pavilion is the Red Lane Fitness Center. So if you want to get up, go for a run in the morning, lift some weights on your vacation, they have everything you need right here. And passing on the right here, this is the nursing station, should you need it while you're on property. And it's bringing us around to the main driveway and entrance area of Sandals Barbados. You can actually see where you would pull in from the, the public streets as you would get on property and walking over to one of these other restaurant clusters, which is where we spent a decent amount of time actually, mm -hmm. um, walking up specifically here to Kimonos and Soy. Yes, yeah, so this area has four restaurants and then a bar in the middle, which is kind of a place we love to hang out yeah. and have a drink before dinner or after dinner. But this first um, is Kimonos and Soy. Kimonos is the hibachi place on property. Um, reservations definitely needed for this one. It's another popular 
um, another popular option that they have. And soy is the sushi bar right next to it, um, which we loved. We went for an appetizer before dinner. I had a sushi roll. Andy had some dumplings, I believe. Is that yeah, dumplings or a soup or something. Yeah, yeah. something like that. But it, it was really good. Definitely need to check that out if you like sushi. And right next to soy and kimonos has to be one of the, I would say, probably highlights of our trip mm -hmm. is the Bombay Club, which is another one of these newer cuisine concepts for Sandals. It's their Indian restaurant. And admittedly, Jenna or I had not been too big on Indian cuisine prior to going there, but I think we could say that a little differently now that we've yeah. been there. Yeah, so we knew we had seven nights here. And so we were like, all right, we need to try something at least a little bit out of our comfort zone. And Indian food was outside of our comfort zone. We it really wouldn't have been something that we went out of our way for and so we gave it a try i have to say our waitress that night was amazing she really helped like we told her we don't know what we're doing we don't know how to order you know do we order the naan with the meal or as an appetizer what happens she kind of helped walk us through everything it was one of the best meals we had there and we even went back a second night because it was that good and right next to it is the second Butch's location on property. Again, reservations required, um, resort evening attire. It's one of the most popular restaurants there. So if you like steak, like this has to be on your list. Yeah, you need to, you need to get that reservation locked in early, ideally when you first show up mm -hmm. on property. And then that blue building straight ahead is the Merry Monkey, which is the English pub um, at Sandals Barbados and pretty much every Sandals re resort has an English pub there and um, we did not have time to eat dinner while we were here. Um, we did when we were at Sandals Grand Antigua but we did go one night um, or a couple nights actually for some late night drinks. It's open until 2 a.m. and um, they have some late night snacks there as well. And heading in now to the main lobby area on the Sandals Barbados side, again, you see it's that outdoor vibe, really nice and inviting. On to the right, you have uh, there the Sandals Barbados gift shop, where you can get all the sundries and everything again, and then the loyalty desk on your left. Yes, yeah, so um, if you are interested in booking your next Sandals vacation while you're currently staying at a Sandals, they offer some really great discounts, like better than you can get online. So um, if you're interested in going back, I definitely recommend booking while you're there and taking advantage of those promotions. Yep. And another good late night spot here. Uh, a lot of people always hung out at the piano bar. Um, you know, some really good like Billy Joel covers mm -hmm. and a lot of good live music there on property. Yes. And there's also another Island Roots desk there as well. So it depends which resort you're staying at is which one you would check into to actually go on your excursion. You can book anything there if it's still available. And coming up on the left here, you have Cafe de Paris, which is another kind of grab and go location. But if you want an iced coffee or a crepe or a pastry, mm -hmm. um, it's it's <laughs> it was right by our room, so we were there all the time. <laughs> yes. And as we turn around to the right here, this is the I think what's called the Mediterranean pool on property. It's definitely one of the more um, chill areas. Uh, a lot of these cabanas that you see along the side were, were taken up uh, by people just kind of you know lounging throughout the day, but definitely very relaxing vibe over here. Mm -hmm. And again, this is, you know, if you want one of those cabanas, they do fill up pretty quickly. If you have a butler, that's be a good thing to have them reserve if you think you want to hang out there for the day. And on the right here is the Red Lane Spa on the Sandals Barbados side. And continuing down the side of the pool, we are coming up to Portofino's, which is actually the restaurant that we ate at on our first night. Had a really nice Italian meal there. Uh, it's really nice outdoor seating um, and, and pretty good food too. And besides dinner, they also have an a la carte breakfast menu as well. And as we pass Portofino's here, we're really starting to kind of come full circle to the, where we started the tour, um, coming back into uh, the main part of the Sandals Barbados side, uh, and specifically heading over to Spices, which is, uh, I guess, the main buffet area where we had uh, breakfast a bunch of uh, mornings while we were there. And besides breakfast, they also have a lunch buffet and dinner a la carte, which is kind of a pan-Caribbean menu. 
Yeah, so re really authentic to the region, but also amazing food. And uh, this kind of brings us to the end of the walkthrough. Um, we'll call out that the area kind of on the left that you saw, that's uh, kind of a nice uh, gathering area on the Sandals Barbados side. So you see the they had the bar there and a couple of nights they had a lot of performances of mm -hmm. like uh, like flamethrower like artists and, and steel drum bands. And so it was a really good entertainment area. Absolutely. It was kind of the place you would hang out either before or after dinner, um, get a drink, watch the performers. Um, they were super impressive. Yeah, all really, you know, talented local, local, you know, entertainers and mm -hmm. um, a lot of local artisans and, and vendors too. So um, Sandals does a, a lot of great work to support the local economy. And so they actually invited some, um, you know, jewelry makers and other artisans onto property on select days during the week to sell um, some of their, their products and items. And so we actually took a couple things home. Mm -hmm. And that really wraps up our walkthrough as we look back on the uh, one of the main pools here on the San Luis Barbados side. You can see this awesome view with the palm trees, uh, the volleyball you know net is still up in the swim up bar. So yeah, so I mean this really is an incredible property. It's two resorts in one. I mean you have 18 restaurants, all of the free activities from the snorkeling and the kayaking and the hobby cats, scuba diving. Everything you can think of, you know, if you want to pay for the extras like the spa or excursion, they're totally worth it. There's just so much to do here. Welcome back, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the tour of Sandals Barbados and Sandals Royal Barbados. It is an incredible resort. Yeah, we had an awesome time. <laughs> yes. Um, if you are looking to go to any of the Sandals resorts, um, I am a travel agent. I don't think I've mentioned that on this uh, channel yet, but um, let me help you plan your trip. It is completely free to work with me. I offer complimentary planning services. Um, same, pr uh, same price that you would pay if you go online and book yourself, but you have the expertise of somebody who's been trained by Sandals and can help you plan an awesome vacation. She knows it all. I do. <laughs> uh, and if you like that video, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and follow us on social media at A Couple Travelers. And until next time, guys, keep traveling.